Hi, I'm Stella and welcome to 30 Books on Holidays. It's just me, Harvard Victoria and 60 billion flies, but it's a beautiful day and uh, the water is luscious. So, and holidays, a great time for reading. So what I thought I'd do today is give you three books, a book I'm currently reading, a book I've read and a book I want to read. Now, the book I'm currently reading is the I say this all the time, they're rather wonderful, but it is Death of a Typographer by Melbourne writer Nick Gadd. It is such a cracking great read. It's a bit of a murder mystery. It's also a fantastic work of literature. Nick Gadd is a great writer. And he writes, it's so original. There's quite a good Dutch element to it, which I adore. And uh, he writes great women characters. So I'll give you a proper review once I'm finished. I'm halfway through and I'm enjoying it enormously. Another terrific holiday read, one book I recently read, first time I've read her is Tara Moss, Dead Man Switch, a Billy Walker mystery. It's out by Harper Collins. So it's set in Sydney in 1946 and Billy Walker has her own private detective agency. And normally she's looking out for cheating spouses, but this time her and her assistant have stumbled on a bit of a gangster plot going out, uh, going around. A young man has gone missing. Now, I say it's a great holiday read, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some gruesome elements to it. If you love a murder mystery, and also if you're a bit of a historical buff, this one would be a great one because what Tara Moss is also known for is uh, how intensively she researches what she's writing and she really evokes a rather wonderful Sydney in 1946 and you can also see that her social conscious comes through as well and she brings out uh, some of the what people are thinking about at the time, uh, their attitude toward Aboriginal people and also attitude towards what they then called New Australians. So in this case, it was Italians. Um, it's a great book. It is called A Billy Walker Mystery. So there must be more coming up. And that is Tara Moss's Dead Man Switch out by Harper Collins. Highly recommend it. Now the book that I'm looking forward to reading, how cute is this? Gorgeous pink cover. It's The Nancy's by R. W. R. MacDonald. Now I've got this funny feeling this might be a New Zealand book but you know they're our, you know, they're, they're, they're our neighbours so I'm going to give it that one. So this is the story about a young woman in, a young girl in a country town whose uncle comes to look after her and he loves Nancy Drew books and the young girl gets right into them as well and they go on a bit of a mystery uh, they go on an adventure but it actually takes a bit of a turn so it says here what starts as a bonding and sightseeing adventure quickly morphs into something far more dangerous how great does that sound it might be a young adult book i'm not quite sure but uh, tony jordan who writes adult books has given it an endorsement that is out by Ellen and Unwin. I bought mine at Readings Hawthorne for $29.99. I bought my Tara Moss book at Big W for $16. And I bought my Death of a Typographer at uh, Hill of Content, which is a fantastic bookstore in Burke Street in Melbourne. So they are my three books. There's a bit of a theme in that uh, they're all murder mysteries, or they're definitely mysteries. So, what does that mean for the writer? So, as I've said, the writer normally gets about $3 a book, so that's all up for $9. And what can $9 get you? Certainly not a holiday. All these hardworking writers, I wonder if they're experiencing what I'm currently experiencing. They're probably busy writing their next book. So that is a book I'm currently reading, a book I've read and a book I want to read. Don't forget to like or subscribe to my video. Love to hear your thoughts on any of these, any of these books that I have talked about today. I've got to get back to some reading. Happy holidays.